Hi guys, I'm preparing a meal with a uh, baked stuffed chicken with homemade dressing with sage and onion and um, also uh, herb orange chicken and I'm making broccoli with garlic. So I've got here a half a stick of butter and I got my fry pan heating up. I'm going to take two tablespoons of that butter. Put it in my fry pan. I'm going to add two teaspoons of garlic. And these are going to be full rounded teaspoons. I take it right out of the jar. And I'm going to saute that. I have salt and pepper here, which is a teaspoon of each, and frozen broccoli that I blanched. We're just going to get this all infused in the butter. It ain't going to take long because you don't want it to burn. And then I want to get my broccoli right into there with my salt and pepper. And I want to keep cooking this until all them flavors combine and the broccoli is cooked. So that looks good right there. Now I'm going to take the broccoli. It's still partly frozen. And I am doing this one-handed, guys, so bear with me. Now our salt and pepper, teaspoon of each. Now I'll take these. Put these in the sink. My husband just did dishes. And you're just going to pan fry this until this is done. And this is frozen, so it's going to take a little while. And I'm going to turn it down to a medium high heat. And you might need to add some more butter. Use your discretion on that. And see, it's already absorbed that butter. So I'm going to put the rest of that butter right in there. It ain't going to hurt, right? Butter is good. Let's get rid of our trash. Broccoli is so delicious with garlic, guys. I had a friend that used to come down and she would say to me, please serve that broccoli that you make. And all I did was um, serve it with fresh garlic and butter. And it's so delicious. I'm going to try to chop some of these down a little bit smaller. These are huge florets. Anyways, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to serve this up. Okay, this garlic is and broccoli are all ready to serve when the potatoes and the chicken are done. You can tell when they're no longer frozen and they're starting to separate a little bit more and you don't want them mushy. So you just want to keep them on here to keep them warm. But I've got potatoes going and I'll show you the chicken. Nice stuffed chicken right there with extra sage stuffing. Talk to you guys later.